Hi everyone, Amy Love here and I am coming on today to share with you some more Christmas ornaments that I've been working on. And I started with the six pack of silver bells that you can buy at Hobby Lobby. I bought them when they were half off. And then I painted them. Um, normally, I, I love to make these every year, and usually I will paint them in like pastel pinks and pastel blues and that type of thing, but I decided that I wanted to paint them cream and white this year. And then I covered them with a layer of sparkle Mod Podge just to add a little more spark, sparkle and to uh, seal the paint on the little jingle bells. And so these are like little Hobby Lobby ornaments because everything on here, almost everything I uh, used came from Hobby Lobby. So um, on most of them, I used this tool, which is this tool right here with the little crystals on them. And I just bunched it up and added it to the top of the Jingle Bells. Um, and then these leaves actually were gifted to me by somebody. So thank you. I I uh, absolutely love them and these pretty little um, soft flowers with the rhinestone and they're cute. This comes from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby and every time that I'm at Hobby Lobby if that stuff's on sale I make sure to pick these up and, and they come in white cream and pink. They might actually come in lavender. I don't know. I never buy that color so I always make sure to get those and then these beautiful stamens also come from the bridal department at Hobby Lobby. So when I'm running low, I pick more of those up when they're on sale too. And then I added, tucked in some Jingle Bells right there. Also, I got those at Hobby Lobby. It was like a, a whole bunch of them that came in all different sizes. So there's like even teeny tiny ones. I love it, so much fun. So there was that one. This one, I used some pink cheesecloth under it instead of the tool. And then I added these like acrylic stamens that I've just had in my stash forever. I think they're so pretty. And then these pretty little stamens here. I don't remember where I got those either, but I think they're so, so cute. And more of the flowers from Hobby Lobby and the jingle bells and some ribbon for the hanger. They're just so cute. And then on this cream one, I used some cream cheesecloth and then I just put some pearl strand draped around. And then these are those flowers in the cream. So cute. So I just had a really good time creating this. I mean, they're just so cute and so fun. I love them. So if you're interested in like a step-by-step -step on how I created it, I do have one right now for you. But I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up, everybody. And I hope that you um, find some time to create and give these a go. So I started by taking them outside and spray painting them. And I ran out of spray paint, so you can see that I didn't get a great coating on there, but it was good enough for my base coat. And if you don't want to spray paint them, I would suggest that you put a coat of gesso on the bell before you put your paint on. It's just going to help hold your paint uh, to the bell and you're just going to get better coverage that way. So I'm using just a couple of uh, chalk paints that I got at Walmart. One is like a white and one is a cream. And I am using a paintbrush to put them on. But if you're going to put a layer of gesso on the bell, I would suggest you use a pouncer and pounce it on. It just gives much better coverage. And then it really does give the paint like some, a little bit of texture. So I'm, that's how I like to do it. And just to add a wee bit of sparkle, I'm putting on some Sparkle Mod Podge. Um, there's like two different kinds of Sparkle Mod Podge. One is like extra sparkle. I didn't use the extra sparkle because I just wanted a hint of sparkle and I also wanted to seal the paint so it wouldn't scratch off the bell. So once they're all painted and sealed, I always add the hanger before I start decorating it or I'm never gonna get the hanger on it. <laughs> 
So I'm using a little piece of ribbon. I tie uh, a knot in the end and then I like to slide the knot to the bottom so that you cannot see it once the bell is decorated. But I made this one a little short, so my tip here is to make sure your strip of ribbon or string or whatever you're using is long enough because this one was a little bit short. So now I am going to just cut some strips of this really pretty tool that I got at Hobby Lobby. It has little like crystals on it. It's so cute. And I'm just going to gather these up to add to the top of the bell underneath the rest of the em embellishments. So I just kind of squish it, squish it up, that's the technical term, and then I twist it in the middle. And then I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of the bell. So please be careful. Hot glue is indeed hot and will burn you. I suggest you maybe you put fingertips, uh, the little rubber fingertips on here. Um, but I, I swear my fingers have been burnt so many times they're just callous to it. So do as I say, not as I do here. <laughs> so I'm going to get, and you can do this gathering up and twisting and gluing down with fabric or cheesecloth and the tool, lace, anything you want. And it's just really pretty on the top of the bell. So now I am going to attach these wire leaves. So I'm going to cut off the extra wire I don't need with my Timmy snips. And I am going to glue them to my bell with the wire stem in between the ribbon loop to kind of hide it a little bit. And when you're gluing anything down in and around this ribbon loop, you're going to have to occasionally pull that ribbon um, tall just to make sure that you're not gluing it down or gluing it to something that you don't want it glued to. <laughs> so the nice thing about these wired leaves is you can kind of mold them to the shape of the bell once you get them glued in place and they will hold their shape really, really well. They're so cute! So now I want to add these pearl stamens that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of bend them in half and then make a little twist at the end and the twist is what I'm going to glue down and I kind of glue them coming off to the side so that they don't get covered up with the flowers that I'm going to add and they're kind of peeking out on the side. I just think that's so pretty so I do that on both sides. They're so cute. Making sure to pull up my ribbon so I don't get it glued down. Because I may have done that a time or two. Just maybe. So now I'm going to use these adorable little flowers. I'm just snipping them off right at the base uh, with my Timmy snips. And I am going to glue them back to back. And they are going to really hide all that stuff I just glued down already. So I'm going to put it one on one side and then put the other one directly on the other side of it and then kind of squish them together. So they're so cute and they're just covering up everything. They're adorable and this was so easy and then they turn out so beautifully. So if you haven't tried to make these, I hope that you do. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions and leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I will see everybody on the next one.